Hey guys, Sandy here. It is Monday, so that means it is time for Making with the Manufacturers. So let us flip through and see where we are with this. Okay, so got to the Maggie Homes, and then after Maggie and Crepe Paper, what do we have? Let's see. Ooh, One Canoe Two. Now I don't have a whole lot of One Canoe Two. Looks like this is it. Okay, so we've got this green stripe with the pink in the middle, and then on the back some plants. Not using the plants, it will be the green stripe. A little bit of a sticker on there. Okay, the green and white polka dot with this um, kind of scenic view over here. Part of a cut apart sheet and some dark green. This night sky and then these weird plus signs. And then another scenic uh, photo with plaid on the back. So this is the only, well these two have the blue in them and these have the pink and the green. I don't think I'm going to be able to use up all of the papers, but let's see what I can do. All right, so I decided to go with that scenic background paper and I cut up the blue paper um, so that I could use the plus sign as my photo mat. So I trimmed down the photos. Um, Actually, I don't think I trimmed down the photos this time. I thought about it, but I think I decided not to. I am going to overlap them here, and I'm going to make sure that the photo that has um, the telephone pole directly in the center of the road, in the middle of it, right here, up front and center, so that you can kind of see it. Now, you might be looking at me and be going, Sandy, you psychopath, why are you scrapbooking photos of a telephone pole in the middle of the road. Well, people, maybe I am a little bit of a psychopath. No, I don't know. Um, so this was a big part of our daily lives for a good hunk of time. Um, it was always a question of, hey, is the pole still in the middle of the road? Like it was a conversation in our house for a chunk of time. So I figured, you know what, since it was such a big part of our life for so long, then I'm going to scrapbook it. Um, and plus, you know, photos are scarce, people. This is in the height of COVID. Photos are scarce. So you scrapbook what you got. Um, now, I am pulling out all of the pink things, and I am going to make this floral, floral-like and pretty. And that is just because, you know, I don't have telephone pole uh, or road embellishments, I want to make it pretty. So these um, floral die cuts right here, these are actually from um, Hobby Lobby, and I got them on clearance, and I was kind of sad because I thought, oh, I'll never be able to get these again, but you know what, they're back. They're back at Hobby Lobby, so not exactly sure why they clearanced them out to begin with. Um, I do cut out one of those little frames down there and decide to create a cluster over here on the bottom right hand corner and then this word right here is a pre-made word and I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down with my ATG right on top of the photo. So I was thinking about cutting off that little piece up there and kind of maybe putting some word strips or something but I decided ultimately not to go that direction whatsoever. Um, but now I'm thinking, okay, I've got this blue in the background. I've got this blue as my photo mat. I need to bring in the blue again somewhere else. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that. So I end up going to my letter stash. And I find these kind of bluey, purpley, they're, they're, they're a little less on this side of navy and a little bit more on that side of indigo. So it's got a little bit more purple in it. Um, but I had the letters to spell out only the, so now it says only the best, and I figured that this was kind of snarky and cheeky and it would completely go with the telephone poles, or it's just one, but the telephone pole in the middle of the street. Um, I think it probably took them about a month to take care of that, I feel like. I don't have Lana across from me to nod her head or, or shake her head either way, so... 
I feel like it was about a month. Um, I went to the stash and found these Pink Fresh Studio embellishments. And um, they have some enamel shapes. And then also there are some other uh, little shapes and things as well. So I'm going to use the gold glittery enamel dots. I'm also going to use um, this little epoxy button. Now I did pull off the foam mounting dot that was on the back of the epoxy button um, just to bring it down to the level of the page a little bit more than what was already there. Um, and then I end up moving this epoxy circle um, because I felt like, again, I needed a little bit more of blue on this layout. So I had this little banner thing on there, and I went ahead and uh, went with that. And then I'm just trying to figure out, like, where in the world am I going to put this little epoxy thing? And I'm like, oh, we can tuck it under here. I'm like, does what do we think about that? I'm like, okay, now i got to figure out where the enamel dot is going to go since it's all changed around. Ultimately, I move it again. Um, because I liked the enable dots up towards the um, kind of like the middle of the grasslands right there and not at the bottom. Now I'm going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to stick down these letters because thickers. And then I think I just add some journaling um, right here to this little card that says memo. And then that pretty much is going to do it for this layout. So I feel like this definitely has the feel of the One Canoe 2. Like, I don't think that I have camouflaged the One Canoe 2 feel so much. Um, but I'm definitely going to use the other um, One Canoe 2 papers that I have, the greens. That is going to be another layout. Um, I'm just not sure if it's going to go up Tuesday or Wednesday. Not sure which day it's going up. Um, probably, I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. Um, but it will be a Disney trash can layout. So I wrap up the journaling, throw a date on there, and then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.